It's time to settle this, man. You're the final dude I gotta kill for some loot, boy. Bam. Arena is completed. Everything is done. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Nerf episode. Today, we're gonna be visiting the arena. As you can see, arena is ending in six hours. So before it ends, I want to get there. And why are we doing arena? Why, Doom? Why are you doing arena? It takes so many guns to do arena. Well, look at this. I'm level 60, okay? I've been saving guns since the start of the game. I've started this account, let's say, like 12 days ago. But I've played this only for four to five days. And take a look at these. Are you seeing my guns right there? Look, we saved up so many guns. All of these guns that I have here is just from saving i didn't use them because we've been wall tricking in every single location by just using melee so the reason why we're doing arena is this special forces pack and once you open these forces pack you have a chance to get a tactical backpack from this chest and as well as from file with rare blueprints if you open two of them you get two extremely rare which is the purples and you get four blues and you will get 12 gray right that's pretty useful so yeah and you get also some gun whales some factory parts my this rewards are different by the way so if you don't have this reward you might get a different one you might get a gun with silent spec or whatever but this is what we're bringing to arena and i will show you completely everything you need to know about that arena and how to pass it so we store some loot in the chopper obviously right for those who's wondering how the hell i got chopper well if you missed my previous episode that's how i got my chopper in level 61 that we did in previous episode so make sure to check that out if you missed it out one thing i recommend doing before you go to arena though is check if your healer has a buff damage increase on your guns if it doesn't that's okay you can do it without but if it does take it it's gonna help you and there's the arena arena let's drive there welcome to arena this is where you will fight three types of bosses five times and get rewards from them each time you kill them and here yeah i mean i will have to use this armor for the first and second wave because i don't have an inventory to equip it but later on in the stages we're gonna use guns and i will show you how you can easily complete arena so let's talk to this guy and let's start off with the hardest boss which is Lucy Luck. She is the hardest boss in Arena. Easier is Jesse and Gnarly is very easy. So let's start with the hardest. And right we go. You know, before we go in though, I'm gonna put all the full Dura guns and take out the most broken ones. So yeah, let's use up these machetes. Now the reason I'm bringing Katana and machetes is because they have the longest range and they're very good weapons. So that's how we're gonna be dealing with them. We're just gonna start slashing as soon as we get inside. Now you're gonna slash her and move down a little bit like so and move sideways. So she needs some time to hit you. And as you can see, she has to get closer to you in order to hit you. And you just circle around like so. Just like that, just like that, just like that. And she does only 9 damage right now at the start. But once we get later on, she's gonna do way more damage. So this is when we're gonna stop using melee. And we were just we're just gonna use basically guns. So as you can see, it's working per pretty perfectly. Look how long this katana is. She has to get very close to me in order to hit me. Because my katana is a long schlong. But there we go. She, by the way, screams every 5 hits you do. So... Boom, one attack, boom, second attack, third attack, fourth attack, and fifth attack. She's gonna scream now. After this. There you go, you can see that. So, yeah, let's heal up a little bit. And we're gonna waste a little bit of heals here, pretty much. You can see that the machete is not so long. I cannot outrange her with my machete. She's, look how long her range is. Well, you can a little bit, but you have to barely move in order to do that but yeah the machete is not that good i would say katana would be definitely better or maybe like a skull crusher but the skull crusher is very slow so that's why i don't really like using it okay she's dead she's not gonna scream on us and that's the first wave very easy right let's get rid of these carrots so our armor got broken a little bit but this armor lasts by the way way longer than this armor this is why we're using this but another thing you could do is actually bring this type of armor right here you bring this armor and then once it's one durability left you craft it into this armor and yeah save a little bit of uh stuff but let's go lucy luck now this is gonna be second stage she's gonna spawn minions and i in my opinion to be honest it's actually hard for me because i don't have that many resources to be able to kill her but look at this we can kill these minions in one swing 
and they're all gone just like that and now we can continue swinging at her or what you can do is just already start using guns like this and that will require you exactly 122 shots right now because it does 10 damage as you can see and here's what you can do look she's not gonna spawn any single minion because i am running away from her i am not touching any walls and i'm not getting hit if you get hit by her she's gonna spawn the enemies if you touch the wall she's gonna spawn the enemies this works for all the arena monsters in here so look nothing is happening right now she's not spawning anything she's just chasing me but as soon as you get close to her for a demonstration watch this boom she stops and enemies spawn instantly there you go so don't touch the goddamn zombie you don't want that happening you don't want to touch her you don't want to literally don't do anything you just run away from her and shoot her is what you want so i guess i'm not gonna use melee anymore for her i'm just gonna use my guns and that's it so we can save some heals and stuff okay so yeah this is what you do now boom let's finish her and let's just shoot her also i highly advise to bring fast boots because by having fast boots you will outrun her faster and you will just basically run faster you know you have more chance to shoot her as well and another thing you can do is bring sprint with you so yeah and this is how we kill her now all we have to do is just run 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 shoot 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 and this will work for third stage this will work for fourth stage it will work for fifth stage so yeah there you go now i'm thinking to not break my guns but i'm actually gonna break them anyways also i don't know can i use my shotgun maybe here i don't think that would work maybe on feral jesse which is the second boss it would work but not on this boss glocks is the cheapest option and probably the best weapon you could use here now honestly in my opinion i am kind of wasting this glock because i can just melee her and kill her with melee because the enemies aren't so strong yet you know but it's however you decide to play the game. You want a melee? We have a lot of melee. Use melee. You have a lot of guns? Use guns. Up to you, man. I'm just showing you the tips and tricks here. What you can do and how you can save your guns so much. And your heals and everything. But yeah, normally you would want to kill her with melee on this stage. Okay, so another Glock is broken. Let's equip this one. And eight more shots. Boom, 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 boom there it is let's grab sprint as well from this but you know what i could do i could go to my inbox go to equipment and grab swat boots but i don't have that boom now for the first time you do this you always have to kill the minions first so let's actually use up these carrots and everything let's get some more inventory space we have more guns at base so we shouldn't be worrying about guns plus i have more guns in inbox more glocks in inbox as well we also have a katana sitting there, so hey, we're chilling. So now what we do is the same thing again. Let's go in there, slash her a little bit, but here, this is where you will not be able to really use these uh, melee anymore. So for this wave, I'm definitely going to use guns now, so that's it. We kill the minions, that's all you need to do, just kill them in time. Also, you don't really need to sprint into them, you can still keep running like this in a circle and just shoot her like that. Also, look at this, I have a leg shot which can slow her down so if you have a leg shot like this you can literally use it against her and just slow her down but here's the thing i feel like i'm wasting my leg shot right now because i would rather save this leg shot for a laboratory instead of using it here so here's what i'm gonna do grab that m16 and i'm just gonna use this m16 instead and i'm just gonna shoot her shoot 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 and walk further away and until it starts missing as you can see my m16 is not really missing yet though so you can do really a decent amount of damage with this m16 just have to shoot 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 and run away make sure it doesn't miss though don't keep on holding the gun just don't keep shooting when it starts missing because at this point you're just wasting your durability if you're shooting and missing right but yeah this is what we're gonna do that's how we do arena that's all it is that's all it is man there we go she hit me so look at this she's gonna spawn more minions now, this is why I need to be careful with her. So, yeah, that's my tips for you. Be careful, run enough. Run long enough so you have enough time to shoot her and everything. Like, if you take too long, there's a time she could just sneak a hit on you and she's gonna spawn minions. Let's break that M16. I don't know if I have more weapons. Yes, we do. Let's use a leg shot, slow her down. And there's another Glock I can take here. Let's use up this Glock. Let's use Sprint as well. But yeah, this boss is probably the most annoying boss you could fight. Because she has very long range. And she can just basically hit you from, from so far away. Which is what makes this boss very annoying. But other than that, once you get rid of her, 
The other two bosses is going to be very easy. And you can just take a look at how much we're saving right now. We're not getting hit. We're not using our heals. All we're doing is saving our guns. While normally, if you would get hit and everything by her, you would be dealing with her minions as well as from her attacks. A lot of stuff we would be spending. Okay, so there we go. We got one more gun that I can equip. No, that was so close. Okay, let's equip that and use it up. Boom, boom, boom. One more shot. She's dead. And let's organize a little bit. So we want to finish this gun. So as I said, I'm probably going to use up this gun. But this leg shot I'm going to save. Because I actually forgot that I need these leg shots a lot. So I'm going to save it and put it there. Then we're going to break that. Let's use up these carrots. I actually like using... I don't have extra pockets. So I'm probably not going to keep heals in my inventory or my pocket. Uh, let's go now. This is the fourth stage. We're getting close, man. We're getting very close. So what I'm going to do is sprint inside. Let's get hit once and slow her down and kill the minions. These minions, as you can see, have 100 HP now. And they do 10 damage when you get hit. Let's use also self-healing. Because self-healing is going to save us a little bit here. And now we can just start sprinting. Just like so. Try to not get hit by her. And you will be Gucci, man. Try to not get hit because we don't want to deal with these minions anymore. These minions have a hundred HP, dude. Do you really want to kill, keep killing these minions? I don't think so. I would not do that, in my opinion. So this Glock is broken. Let's slow him down or her. Uh, one more Glock goes in. I'm going to save that leg shot literally for just slowing down. I'm not going to, like, shoot with it. I'm just going to slow her down to make myself deal with her a little bit easier so just like that we can slow her again i missed it by the way wow i just walked too soon you also have to wait a little bit sometimes i move too fast and the shot doesn't register so yeah but there we go leg shot is boom she slowed down and i can just keep shooting her save some time and move her back away again okay leg shot again slow her down even after you like let's say you slow her down you could use like a shog and maybe you have i think enough time to do that Let's actually try that. I'm going to try that. This Glock is going to break anyways. So let's do that. Let's shoot. Boom. Slow her down. Grab the shotgun. We grabbed it. Boom. Can do some shotgun shots maybe. Yeah. Wait, I can actually even use my shotgun here. A shotgun works perfectly here, chat. Look at that. So I have actually enough time to shoot her. Boom. And boom. Yeah, it works. It works perfectly. So, hey, now you can use not only Glocks you can use, you can also use your shotgun here. Except that you cannot do that much damage. You just need to run away a little bit far from her because if you get too close to her, she's definitely going to get a hit on you. And then you have to kill the minions as well. So, hey, I'm just going to sprint away, shoot. With sprint, though, it's definitely easier because you run faster, obviously. Now, if you have Kevlar boots, bro... That's gonna be even easier because Kevlar boots make you run so fast. It makes you run faster than SWAT boots, except only if you're carrying heavier weapons. Okay, so we have 2 HP left on her. I'm definitely not gonna shoot my shotgun on her with 2 HP. So let's grab that Glock and boom, she's gone. Bye-bye. Sleep well, sir. Or ma'am. There we go. Let's go to our inbox. We have two more shotguns that we can take out. So let's take out these. I think we have enough shotguns. And I don't think I'm going to break that shotgun. I'm going to save that shotgun. So the leg shot that you got, as you can see, from the airdrop. You get this from your airdrop. Everyone gets two Glocks that has a leg shot. You can use them anywhere. You can either use them in arena or laboratory. This is why we saved it, man. I told you guys. Trust me. Now, there you go. Let's do the last final wave. AK deals more damage to her, by the way. Now, I did not bring an AK here, but I could actually bring an AK. Actually, wait, I have an AK in my inbox. It's literally there. It's sitting. Boom. Let's grab that AK. We're gonna use the AK here for the sake of because it does 50% more damage. And yeah, we can combine that with a leg shot. So we slow her down and we just use the AK. So let's go to battle. There we go. Another thing is the minions are also gonna be kind of annoying to deal with. But for this, I think I'm gonna take the better armor now. Uh, damage for that. So let's go inside. Let's actually use the leg shot first because I'm gonna slow her down and kill the minions as quick as possible. Let's do that. Kill the minions. I still don't have my meds. Let's put that in there. Let's use AK. Now, I don't think the AK does more damage to the minions. Because I cannot tell, really. 
Okay, we have self healing right now, so we're gonna use that. It doesn't matter if the minions hit you, it does not matter at all. As long as the boss is not hitting you, you're fine. So look at this, boom. We're doing 9 damage to her with this AK. Which isn't that bad, yeah. It's not that bad, a Glock is probably gonna do now. Let's see how much damage a Glock is gonna do to her. It does 8 damage. Actually, I don't know if... I don't know if an AK is worth to use on her, really. But yeah, let's use the self-healing that I've got. And grab the AK now. I mean, I already brought it. I already took it. So we're gonna use that AK. Since we already took it out. So yeah. And we can do a decent amount of damage before the AK starts missing. So that's the good thing about the AK. You can do a decent amount of damage. Shoot like that and boom it's not missing that much as you can see The only annoying part about this boss is that I just have to run so far away in order to do a lot of damage Just try to not touch the walls It doesn't matter if you get too close to the wall just try to not touch it and you'll be fine Also it's better to get literally a little bit closer because then you have a little bit more time Dealing damage to her like this if I keep walking like that you can see she runs in a straight line instead of like cornering you. She doesn't corner you. So this is would be a better way to like run here. Okay, look at that. She spawned minions though. You saw that? Because I touched the wall really. So that was on my end. That was my mistake right there. Let's sprint and deal with the minions like that. This is why you have to be careful. She does a little bit more damage now. Okay, my AK broke and let's slow her down. Let's grab another Glock. And get rid of these minions. So you can see. You, you can now actually understand. Why it's so dangerous to fight these guys together. And I wasted so much of my AK just dealing with these minions. So yeah. Okay let's use up this Glock. Now I think this Glock has a modification on it. Only a green laser though. I do not have this modification. It's only because I got it from Bunker Alpha. I opened the finger. The cut finger. And we got that modification. And also, I already lost my leg shot, so we cannot slow her down anymore. That's it, man. We ran out of goodies that we can use on her. And also, make sure you have enough guns when you go in here. Because if you don't bring enough guns... Yeah, you don't want to go into your inbox while you're running away from her, right? Because that would just suck. Let's use sprint, by the way. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Okay, this shotgun is on its last shot, so I'm not going to use that shotgun anymore. I'm going to save it so I can recycle it later. And let's deal with her with the shotgun now. Now, it would be nice if you bring lab guns here. You're going to do way more damage normally than you would with these normal guns. But hey, you're probably not going to have lab guns. You're going to be wondering, but Doom, what is a lab gun? It's called armor piercing guns. Armor piercing guns, we'll get into that later. We're going to get them from the lab. We're not going to worry about that for now, though. For now, we have to worry about killing her. And actually being able to kill her. But we should be able to kill her. We shouldn't struggle here at all. Because hey, I have another shotgun. If this shotgun is not enough, I have another shotgun that I can use. Okay, I have to run a little bit further. Let's sprint again. Dude. Shoot the goddamn thing, man. There. Three more shots, I believe. One. Okay, two more shots. Three more shots. Never mind. Do I really have to kill her like that in such way, man? She's literally 1 HP, dude. Do I have a gun that I can use? I have a Glock. Boom. Get bopped, son. <laughs> she got bopped, bro. Okay. Le Lucy Luck is finally killed. Finally, we dealt with the hardest boss. Now we can deal with Feral Jesse or Gnarly. We're gonna start dealing with Jesse for now. So let's do battle. Let's gonna equip our armor. I'm gonna spend a little bit of heals doing this, but hey. I'm gonna save our armor a little bit, so yeah. And we're gonna use melee. And these guys also gonna do a little bit of damage. Also, he's gonna eat his own minions and heal from them. But that's gonna happen on later stages. For now, it's okay. All I'm gonna do now is heal up, heal up, heal up, hit him and run away a little bit. As you can see, his range is very short. For some reason, his range is, I think his range is the shortest in this arena. I don't know why. He has like huge hands, but his range is so short. I don't understand why it's like that, but I guess it just is. So once I get hit here, I can start using self-healing like that. And self-healing is gonna do the job for me here. My weapon broke, let's get a machete. And yeah, look at that, he cannot even hit me, he's struggling to hit me himself. But these minions, we gotta deal with them, this is why we got a machete. Exactly 30 damage, perfect. We got the last final carrots that I'm gonna use up. Four carrots left. 
Actually, I don't even have to heal anymore. I am fine. There you go. And he's dead. So I think I'm gonna go back to my base now. Um, this was my last machete. I actually have another machete in the inbox. So let's take that out. What I'm gonna do is put away that. Now the second stage is gonna be hard. I don't think I can pass it actually. I don't really have enough weapons really for that either. You know what I can do though? Let's take that crossbow out. Mm, that's what we're gonna use for Billy. Also, I'm gonna equip armor back. And we're gonna use armor this time again. And yeah. Okay, so let's go Feral Jesse. His minions are going to have 40 HP now, so that's going to be the annoying part. Also, he has... He gets a new special attack, which he can slam you, I think, or something like that. Like, look at these minions, dude. I have to do way more damage. I have to slash them just for that 10 HP. It's kind of annoying to do that. Yeah, there you go. You can see he's doing 22 damage. That's his special attack that he can do. Like, he slams you or whatever that is. And... That broke. Let's heal up. Let's just pay attention to your health. He does a lot of damage, actually. You want to deal with that fast. Okay, let's slash this guy. Let's slash that guy. Slash them all. Slash them all. Just like so. Dealt with that. And let's keep on going. Don't step on the puddles of blood because that does damage to you. We don't want to step on that. Definitely we don't. Keep on healing. Keep on slashing. I want to see if a crossbow is good here or not. Let me see. It does 25 damage, dude. That is not that good. But you know what you can do here? You could for sure use that crossbow and walk away over and over like this. Let's actually try that. Let's run away. No, it's not. It's not possible. We're not going to be able to do that because the crossbow has such l short range. My armor is already broken, as you can see. You know what? I'm gonna save this melee and use the shotgun up. I'm just gonna finish him with my shotgun because I don't want to deal with his minions anymore. They're wasting everything. They're wasting my machete and stuff. So let's just use up the shotgun and we're gonna... After that, we're gonna go back to our base, grab some more supplies and finish all the rest of the bosses. Now, it's a little bit easier to shoot him because you can see his range very, very low. I have more than enough time. To shoot him. There we go. And there we go. One more shot of a Glock. If we have. There it is. Boom. Now. He's going to be third stage. We have to kill him three more times. And we have to kill Billy five times. So eight more bosses. So let's go back to our base now. So yeah. We are back at our base. We're going to grab this shotgun. This shotgun that we got. We also have a swatch. I look at that. That's. I'm definitely going to use that. Instead of. I'm first going to finish this armor. I'm going to use up that SWAT set. And we have more guns here. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna grab, let's say, just one more stack. Let's grab some jerkies. Let's take some more guns that we got here. This gun goes out. We got M16. And I'm actually gonna swap to this set and just put away this armor. Let's grab more Glocks, more M16s. Restock the guns right here. And now, again, I'm not using that Glock because that Glock is super precious. It's a leg shot, so I'm gonna save that for something else, like laboratory. Let's grab that M16, put that away. AK, though, I'm not gonna use that AK, so I don't wanna use it. And as you saw, the crossbow did not work out, so the crossbow goes out. Let's take a machete, and that's about it, man. I don't see anything else I can take. Look, I don't have guns anymore. You can see we got hella shotguns, dude. We have actually a lot of shotguns. There we go. Feral Jesse, your boy, do you know what's coming to you, man? My, my boy, do you know what's coming to ya? You? You're about to get slapped, my boy. Okay, so here's what we do. We're gonna get our M16 in and our Glock. I'm not gonna take heals in. I can heal through my inventory. I don't have extra pocket. And I'm gonna get hit once by this guy and kill his minions quick, 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 quick. Like that, like that, like that. There we go, there we go. They're dead. And now all we need to do is do the same thing as always. Run around, run around. Shoot and run, man. Now we do have a SWAT set, which is right there. So let's equip the SWAT boot here. And we're gonna run faster a tiny bit. Uh, SWAT boots is faster than tactical boots. So this is why I'm gonna use that. And look at this. You can just shoot him like so. His range is very short. So you have more time and you can shoot him more times than you normally would be able to shoot like Lucy, for example, or whatever. This guy is going to take way faster and way less time killing him. So 
Because Lucy normally would take ages to kill, man. It takes forever to, like, get a couple shots in her. But now, shouldn't be a problem. So we're almost there, dude. We're almost halfway done with Arena. I would say, like, 60% we're done. Now let's open our inventory. Get the shotgun in. We got the shotgun in. And yoinkity yoink. Let's use up the shotgun. Don't have my sprint, but hey, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna keep shooting. There we go. That shotgun is actually doing a decent amount of damage, dude. And it lasts... I don't really know where else I could use shotguns. So, this shotguns are very good for arena, I would say. If you don't want to use glocks, then use shotguns. Because normally, I don't really use shotguns in laboratory. I would use shotguns more in the blind one. Or really just for spread shotting stuff. But for arena, shotguns is amazing. Now, if you don't have shotguns, dude, it doesn't matter. Just use glocks, man. Whatever you have, use whatever you have. It doesn't have to be shotgun. But just saying that shotguns are very nice to use here. So, there we go. We used a little bit. Let's go now. We have to kill him twice. Two more times. Let's heal up fully. Let's grab that and grab that. We're going to use, again, M16 combined with a Glock and go as soon as we get in here and get hit once. Go to the minions. Shoot, 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 shoot. Kill one. Go back a little bit. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And we have self-healing, although I won't need to heal up, I think. Okay, I have to heal up, so let's heal up through our inventory. Run away. Now, again, if you cannot or if you cannot open your inventory quick then all you can do pretty much is just put food in your s pocket or whatever. You don't really need an extra pocket. Uh, really, you don't. No. In fact, I don't even use the extra pocket. So, there we go. Now we can deal with him again. Two more times, brother. Just two more times is all we need. So, again, I'm gonna use my shotgun that I got right there. Back in action, ladies and gentlemen. Back in action. It does 23 damage now. Before we did like 25. But we should be fine. Pretty sure we have enough stuff. Plus, I have more stuff in my inbox saved up. So we should be definitely fine. Shotgun is gone. It got bopped into the broken dimension. Shotgun is in heaven now. But it's no problemo because we have way more shotguns sitting in our inventory. Waiting to be shotgun rained on. Okay, let's use up our sprint. I don't know if sprint really helps here because this guy is slow AF anyways and has short range too. Now really, I want to be careful because I just don't want to summon these minions. It makes the process way cheaper. So that's why I'm just running and making sure that I run far enough. And not get hit by him. Even though you don't really need to get that far away i would say let's get a glock shoot him twice and he's done that is it jesse is the last that i have to kill last one more time let's heal up with our jerkies okay so now i'm gonna equip a swat set for this i get the maximum amount of damage reduce you don't have a you don't need a swat set though but hey, i'm just trying to save some heals man you can literally equip tier 2 armor reinforced armor and you're good to go let's do that let's sprint let's use a shotgun for this for that let's get him once Okay, they're gonna do a lot of damage, I think, though. Shotgun for this guy, for that guy. Finish them off. There we go. He's dead. He's doing 9 damage. That's completely fine. He's dead. And I have self-healing right now, so that's good. Now, what you can also do is not hold the shotgun 24-7. What you can do is do this. Equip a Glock and swap to the shotgun. So let's grab the shotgun again. I believe, yes, you move slower with the shotgun, so I can shoot with the shotgun, equip the Glock, and I move 1% faster, or whatever the percentage is. Because when you, the shotgun is so super heavy gun, so you're obviously gonna move slower when you hold it. This is why I shoot, and as soon as you shoot, just swap your Glock, so you can move faster. And there we go. Okay, that was very close. He was very close to me, but uh, not bad, not bad so far. We have one more boss left to kill. That shotgun, it has one more shot left, and it's gone. Boom. Okay, now I need to swap my gun, so let's grab this one. I'm just gonna grab my Glock back in there. And just like that, keep repeating the steps. Now, of course, you want to go here prepared. Make sure you have all your guns ready. 
before you enter because it's kind of tough and rough to heal up and you don't have your heals ready or you don't know where the item is placed in your inventory and then you mess up and you die so you gotta be ready man you just just know memorize where your heals are and stuff and your guns are in your inventory and you should be fine so there we go chat two more shots why are they always left on one hp though like that's just annoying boom i had to waste one shot just for that there we go Feral Jesse is gone. We dealt with him. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use up this Glock a little bit because it still has a little bit more shots. So I'm just gonna use it up. Let's go to battle. We got a little bit more machetes. So we're gonna use that up on this guy right here. So let's go. Gnarly Billy is also gonna spit on you. When he spits on you, he can decrease your armor durability. So this is what you wanna do. Walk just like I do. And make sure you're very close to him. When he spits, just move to the side and just keep doing that. Basically, you don't really have to move when you fight him. Just stand still, make sure you pay attention, and once he spits like that, just go to the side. That's all you need to do. Self-healing, we don't have it yet, but I'm ready to... Okay, there we go, he spits again, and just move away. This again, let's move away. And as you can see, when he spits and he's close to the puddle, He's gonna heal up like 2 HP, so... I will use uh, melee on him for this wave and stage 2. But once we get to stage 3, we're definitely not gonna use melee anymore. But you can definitely see that this is the easiest boss. Like, this boss is not dangerous at all. Okay, my stuff broke. We got that one machete left there. It's doing 20 damage, which is, which is not bad. And let's finish him off. We leveled up. I, the, how I got this machete is from form. So if you do farm, you can get some nice stuff from there. We got Animal Friend and we got Strict Diet. Uh, I'm not going to take that because I want to get Builder as quick as possible. So I'm just going to not take these skills. Uh, yeah, we used up only 12 jerkies now. But let's keep using that machete. This is my final machete. I think we will need more melee. So let's grab a katana from our inbox. And we're going to use that katana just like that. And once our armor breaks, we're going to swap to this armor set. There we go. Stage 2. Let's go. He's now going to spawn Parasites. Wait, he's not going to spawn Parasites. He's going to do that on stage 3, actually. Okay, interesting. Well, this is why we say this is the easiest boss, really. Just keep avoiding his spits. And he's going to do a special spit like this. Which is a very long spit, as you can see. But you barely need to do anything. All you need to do is just keep moving left, left, or right, right. And dodge his spits. It's like a Ravager. And you just have to be very close to him in order to do that. And as you can see, he spits again. Spits again. Now, once he starts spitting, once these long-range spits come out, he's always gonna be spitting. Oh, also, my armor broke because I'm standing too close to the puddle. I just literally forgot about that. I actually forgot about that. We don't even need armor, by the way, to kill him. I forgot to equip my armor, dude. Oh, no. Okay, as you can see... He's not attacking me, but he's always going to spit. So as soon as he starts doing these long-range spits, all you got to worry about is just keep on moving. Make sure you get your attack in, and as soon as you see him spit, just move. Move and move. So we're still going to be using this machete here. There goes his big spits. Like, he is gaining a lot of HP back from this. So if you use guns on this wave already, he will not be healing up because he won't be healing from anything, really. So I feel like we're kind of already wasting our... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna move away and let's just get Rab a Glock and start shooting him. Because I don't want him to heal up anymore. Because it just feels like a waste. Let's grab our SWAT boots. And just deal with him. But yeah, this guy is a pain, dude. With his healing stuff. So let's kill him. One shot, he's dead. Boopity boppity. Get off my property. And now we got this Glock that is very broken. Let's get our SWAT set now. And now we're gonna blaze guns, dude. So, boom. You can use a VSS on him, but I don't really recommend doing that. I'm actually just gonna use up this Glock until it's one shot left. And I'm gonna use up my shotgun as well. So, he's gonna spit now. Oh, I forgot about that. I literally forgot about my Glock durability. Dude, as soon as I spoke about it, I forgot about it. Okay, so these parasites come out. The way to get rid of these parasites is all you need to do. Um, pretty much just walk into them and they're gonna explode. Now here's the thing. Once you step on the puddles as well, they're gonna do damage to your armor as well. And it's gonna break your armor. So don't stand in these puddle, in these blood puddles. Otherwise, your armor is gonna be gone. So yeah, these parasites are slow as you can see. They cannot reach me. The boss is literally in the front all the time. So hey, 
Uh, you don't really have to worry about anything then. So this shotgun is broken. Let's grab a M16, a Glock. Do the same again. This Glock is broken in one shot. There we go. It's one shot now. So we're going to use up our M16 now. And do note, by doing this, in my way, you will be spending one hour to do this arena. So Also, it would be nice if you could build a grip or whatever on the M16. Because that's just going to make your M16 more stable. It's going to give you some other buffs. So it's kind of nice to get that grip, you know? Okay, but now, see, he has never spawned any minions because we're not touching him and we're not touching the wall. He doesn't get a chance to even touch me. Okay, so let's sprint away. Shoot. And what I'm going to do now is grab another Glock right there. And now I can use that Glock. Now it's nice that this zombie runs slower. Because this guy doesn't run fast at all. It runs very slow. Normally like a floater bloater. That's how fast he runs. Because if it was a fast zombie. It would run way faster than he's running right now. There we go. We dealt. Uh, I can actually see my M16 missing after like 5 shots already. So you can do like 6-7 shots and that's about it. But there we go. Dealt with. Boom. Step on these guys. They're gonna explode. Run away. And take a look at this. If I step in the puddle, your armor is going down, dude. So, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Be careful on that. So, we got one M16 here. These guns are broken. So, I'm going to put these guns exactly in the corner here. This I can still use up a little bit until it's like literally on one little, little red bar you can see there. Okay, so I took a break and we have to kill this guy twice. And I believe this should be enough with the shotguns that we have in this M16. That's two M16s, three shotguns that we have. If that's not enough, well, we're always gonna open up our inbox and just grab more guns. So let's go, see how we go and do it. I'm actually gonna explode these parasites because they're just annoying, man. They're just in my way, so I'm gonna make this guy explode as well. And there we go. Please don't hit me, though. I'm not even looking at my weapon durability because if I do that, I'm literally gonna just see my M16 breaking so fast. So hey, I just don't pay attention to my weapon durability. I just shoot and that's it, man. That's it. That's all I care about. Okay, so we got one more shotgun. I'm gonna gravity that and let's start using the shotgun now. Okay, there he spawned some of them. Because I messed it up, dude. That's fine, though. It's gonna make a couple of them explode and keep shooting this guy. Except that I don't have enough space now to run anywhere. These puddles are actually annoying. But hey, at least you, if you get hit here, it's not that punishing as it is on fighting the other bosses here. So it's not that bad, I would say. Okay, that shotgun is gone. All I got now is that M16. Plus, we have one extra M16. So, we'll see if that's enough or not. Definitely not enough for the next wave. So, I'll need more guns. Okay, so boom, boom. Let's make these guys explode. And you can see that all of these guns are broken. Now, all we have is two shotguns left. Okay, let's see if this is enough or not. If it's not enough, we have our inbox ready. I'll just go into my inbox and grab the final loot. And there we go. Billy. Billy, Billy. I'm over here, man. It's time to settle this man. You're the final dude I gotta kill for some loot, boy. You better hand me that loot and that tactical backpack I've been waiting for. Because goddamn, I want that tactical backpack from you. Or from the arena rewards. Plus, I wanna see what uh, mods we're gonna get from the blueprint opening. So, that's the fun part. You guys might be asking, is it worth to do arena? Well, there's no other reason to keep your guns. Like, you can complete all locations without guns. So what is the point of guns then if you don't use them? That's the point. Eh? You don't need guns in this game. You use guns to get gun modifications and then you get these gun modifications. You put them on your guns which makes guns usable even more and you need to use guns less in locations because well these gun modifications will definitely make your gun stronger and do more damage and so on. So that's why you want gun modifications. So you have to spend guns in order to get gun modifications in order to get melee modifications in order to literally get loot back because what is the point of not using them there has to be some use for it so yeah and there we go we use one shotgun just for this guy one more shot it can do no it can do one more shot right now and now it's gone so now let's use up this shotgun that we got here we're almost there chat i'm also gonna even save my m16 
Uh, I would rather prefer to save my M16 <clears throat> than save my shotgun because I don't really find a use for shotgun that much anywhere else than killing the blind one or just dealing with like strong enemies. One versus one, but really though, I just like saving my M16s and yeah. So I guess I'll just use up the shotgun, but if this shotgun is not enough, then we'll also have to combine left we'll to Yoinkin and M16 for that too. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna be enough. We're gonna need to use a little bit of a M16 in order to finish the operation here, chat. But hey, last shot of the shotgun here goes in. And let's grab our M16 that we got here. Boom, equip. Just a couple shots. Now it does four damage, dude. Not so much damage right there. We could even use melee to finish him off. Let's actually do that. I'm gonna flex on him. Okay, he's on 10 HP. Let's grab a machete. Yoink. Now we have to kill the minions, obviously, because, hey, once the minions spawn, you gotta deal with them as well in order to finish the waves. So let's do that. Get rid of them all. Bam. Arena is completed. Everything is done. All three of them are killed. Let's go. Click down below here. Click on events. Click on arena. Take all. And that's it. It goes into your inbox just like that we're gonna press open on this thing open it up let me see what we gonna get from that special forces pack you better give me that backpack man one more box am i gonna get the tactical backpack and no we did not get it so we will get it on our another arena opening but sadly, we didn't get the tactical backpack. But this is why you could get a tactical backpack. That's how you could get a tactical backpack. If you do arena again, like if you reset, uh, if you have guns, by the way, it's worth it. So reset it and do it again. And if you get the same backpack, if you get the same pack here, then you're definitely going to get your tactical backpack. But if you don't, then GG. So now the last final rewards that we can get from here is opening these blueprints. And by opening this, you will get your, as you can see, at PL1, we got at PL1. We got a tactical stock and we got an ergonomic handle. That's what we got. So that tactical stock is good. We also got a slicer. We got a reinforced handle. We got a reinforced plank. We got a Winchester mod, red dot sight, reinforced plank. Okay, so last one, we're going to open it again and let's see what we get. We got sight four times for our AK. We got drum magazine and a double drum. So drum magazine is good for Uzi. Sight four times is good, but not really anything that good though i would say pretty much so yeah this is what you get from arena and the rewards could be meh the rewards could be good nonetheless you're exchanging your guns for weapon mod blueprints so it is worth it in the end and this is how you do arena as a complete beginner level 62 um yeah that's that so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the support and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care and peace out